All right, Paul Hefty here with the Triangle Football System. I want to talk about our hit and fat block techniques, specifically against odd 34 and 33 stack fronts using our power gap and our counter gap RPOs. All right, first let's look at our power gap RPO and the hit block versus that odd 34, 33 fronts. Uh, just for clarity, an odd front for us is when the offensive guards are uncovered or the play side guard is uncovered. Then the Sam backer to the front side is the RPO read. So you can see here with the diagram to the left, what we do with an odd front, you can see the guards are uncovered. We're going to actually kick the defensive line away and slide the backers towards. Again, everything evolves from a 43. So we just kind of do that. An RE again is a rush end. So uh, he's standing up, but again, it's going to be really an end defensive end type player. On the right then against a 33 stack, it's real simple. We kick the defensive line the front away again, same, so that the guards are uncovered. But now we just leave those linebackers stacked right over top of them like a 4-3. So now the Sam is stacked right over the play side tackle. You can see the technique we're going to use here. HIT stands for H goes inside the tackle. So he's just going to take a slide step inside and look to double team with the play side tackle here on the right. If that defensive end slants outside so that the tackle has him solo, then the H can continue to climb up to that Sam backer there. Great against the stack front. All right, here's the look of, uh, at it our A gap power against all the different fronts. Again, key note here is we run power in the A gap. So those outside backers and these odd fronts, those rush ends and Sam's coming off the edge outside the tackles are non-factors. So it's key the back stays up the A gap. You can see then on the left hand side, we've got the different four, three front variations. And then on the right, right are the odd fronts and the dark gray is the 34 odd, and then the 33 stack, both using the hit concept with that H back. So here it is diagrammed. First, we'll look at a power gap versus 34 odd. Again, post snap read, nothing changes, is the SAM. But as we said, when we get an odd look, the SAM backer becomes what a lot of people think of as a defensive end to the outside, to the play side. We're going to read him and then the H uses his hit technique. Again, sliding inside, doubling with the play side tackle, the right tackle in this case. If that defensive end slants out, play side tackle can take him solo and the H can climb up then to, in this case, to the mic backer looking inside out. When we do this against a 33 odd stack front here, now again, the backers are stacked right over top. Again, now we're still going to use the hit technique with the H. He's going to slide inside the double with the tackle. We'll read that Sam backer. But again, if the defensive end slants out, then the H can go ahead and climb up on the Sam. Even though he's a read key, we can get him uh, up there as an extra blocker. Again, back just hits the A gap following that left guard, doing its square skip pull up to the mic. Should be nice and clean, everything's square, and he's got a two-way out. Still reading the Sam. If he fills, we can throw that glance route all day to the X receiver. All right, now we'll look at our counter gap RPO where we use a fat block technique versus these odd 34, 33 fronts. Again, the diagram on the left, we've got an odd front because the left guard is uncovered. And it's a 34 because the mic and the wheel now are right over those uncovered guards. What the play side tackle, the left tackle in this case, uses, fat technique, is he's going to go big on the man over him for two steps. If that defensive end slants down inside, then he's just going to go ahead and fan at the Sam backer and let the pulling right guard go ahead and kick or trap block that defensive end. On the right side is we have the odd 33 stack. Again, fat technique, still reading the Sam backer, but now we stacked right over top. Again, that left tackle is going to go hit the DN for two. 
If he slants down inside, he can let him go and fan out to the Mr. Zero, and we can still read the Sam backer. Nothing changes. Here's your counter tray versus the different fronts. Again, counter tray for us is where the backside guard is kicking uh, the D end out, but the H back leads up through. On the left hand side is the four three fronts and their variations. And then on the right are the odd fronts. You'll see in the dark gray again, the 34 odd, and then the 33 stack where we use our fat techniques with the right tackle. All right, first is our counter tray using the fat technique versus a 34 odd. Again, we're going to the left. So the left tackle is going to go ahead and hit big for a count. Defensive end slants down inside. He'll fan out to the Sam. If the defensive end slants out, he'll just stay with him the whole time. And then that pulling guard can go ahead and just lead up through the hole. Looking inside out, Mike to Sam. Here's the counter tag. This is where we have the tackle and the guard pulling now. And we'll use the fat technique along with the hit technique on the back side now. So let's start with the fat technique. The left tackle again will hit that defensive end. If he slants down inside, then he's going to fan out to Mr. Zero. Now we're going to pull the guard in the tackle. So the guard will go ahead and pull and look to kick out that defensive end and the tackle will come and lead through. Again, whether it's the H or the tackle leading through on counters, they're always looking inside out. We're looking for the mic, but if the mic is blocked, then we're gonna go ahead and look outside to the Sam, even though he's the read key. You can see one key point here versus stack. You can go ahead and have the left guard, the play side guard and center combo to the mic since he's stacked behind and the will is so far back. This is where we use then the combination of the hit technique with our H on the back side. He'll go ahead and that's H inside on the tackle. He'll slide inside, look to double team with the tackle on that defensive tackle. If the defensive tackle goes outside, the H then can continue and, and get the will filling inside out. So again, we'll combine the fat and the hit technique versus a 33 odd stack.